Hey, Aaron here. What you're about to watch is a lesson from my ultimate guide to Airtable. This lesson is pulled from a section of the course where I show different workflows that are possible in Airtable so you can understand what Airtable is good for before we jump into the nitty gritty of learning how to use it. So I'm including a link to the full course in the description. I also add a link to the playlist of all the free lessons that are available on this YouTube channel, which I'm releasing weekly. So without further ado, here's the lesson. So no matter the use case that you bought this course for, I'm sure your company has the concept of a CRM, a customer relationship manager. These customers might be individuals, they might be companies, they might be online shoppers, but ultimately you're selling your services or your products to someone. And so you need a way to know who's bought what, who is interested in different products. And Airtable allows you to structure that information extremely clearly and creating smooth workflows, no matter what your concept of customer is. So here I'm gonna walk you through a sample CRM that is in a con kind of B2B context, but again, it doesn't really matter what business it is that you want to build for, there's definitely a way to structure your information in Airtable to smooth out your CRM workflow. So in this case, we've got a company that has opportunities and often those opportunities are related to accounts. The companies we're trying to sell to have a concept of primary contact in the different interactions we've had with that company. So in Airtable, you have this concept of relationships that let you associate information across tables. So if I want to know more about AceTube, I can click in and see all of that company's context and this is reducing the need to input information, the same information all the time. Now, CRMs can get very complex with a lot of information. So in Airtable, you can structure that information into views to see the information you need at a glance very easily and reduce the number of uh, kind of tabs or things you need to look at. So here's every deal that's been closed one. Very easy to do very easy to see. So no matter your sales cycle, it involves often different steps where things need to happen at those various steps. Maybe you need to send a contract, send a Slack notification, create tasks. Well, with Airtable automations, you can automate all those steps so you can focus on the selling part, on the customer, instead of on updating a CRM manually. So you can send an email or send a Slack message when a deal is won. You can send a summary of weekly tasks, and I'll show you in the automation section how to build these, no matter what your workflow is. And since customers are the lifeblood of every business, there's nothing that gets scrutinized more than a CRM. Every executive wants to get insights into how things are going. So in Airtable, you can build these interactive, extremely up-to-date dashboards extremely easily. So here I have an executive sales dashboard where I can see the total deal value, the deals in pipeline, this amazing chart giving a sense of the pipeline and even digging into the underlying information all from one place. So with Airtable, you get the best of every world. You have extremely precise data in the data layer. You can layer on automations to automate steps in your workflow and you can create interfaces that create interactive dashboards for both executive and salespeople cutting down on the manual input and really creating a smooth workflow for you and your customers.